you can start with a march in place. And I'm going to get my timer going. <laughs> so it's going to be a little different today since I have friends. <laughs> It's a lot like talking to myself. Yeah. Usually I'm like all by myself. <laughs> so today you can just use dumbbells or an exercise band. You don't need a heavy bag. And just start to bring your knees up a little higher and your arms up a little higher. And so the way these workouts go is they're in a circuit. Um, I time them. You don't have to count reps and you go at whatever tempo you need to go at, as slow as you need to go, um, without compromising your form. And you, I, there are no set rest breaks, so you determine when you need to take a rest. Okay, side to side. And you don't have to go at the tempo I go at, arms in and out, nice and slow, shoulders are down away from your ears. Um, you take a rest whenever you need, so you go, as long as you can go until you have to take a rest and then stop and take a rest for however long you need and then join us back in the circuit wherever we are. So you're going to see, I'm going to stop and take my own rest at some point. Everyone else is going to stop and take their individual rest. So you just take a rest whenever you need. Make sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Take your heels to the back. I'll show you different modifications too and I'm going to have them do different modifications too. And arms up. And down. So something I always talk about is sucking your belly button in to engage your core. So that's something you should be doing in every exercise that we do, every move we do, even this workout, this warm up right now. Don't worry about being coordinated for this. <laughs> it's difficult. Okay, kicks to the front. So you should always be thinking about sucking that belly button in. What it does is it protects your back, your lower back, even when you're sitting. All these people that are off camera that are sitting in their lawn chairs should be sucking their belly buttons in. <laughs> so they're protecting their lower backs and sitting up nice and straight. <laughs> I should just flip the camera around at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in a gravel pit today because we're camping. And uh, I still have to teach my class. So I'm teaching my class in the gravel pit. So if anyone's watching in Keg River, come join us right now. <laughs> We're at Park Parkadu, what? <laughs> okay, standing on the spot, you can use your chairs for this if you want. We're just going to do some body weight squats on the spot. So you can just, you can also, you if you ever need to uh, help with your balance, you can always use your, what are these called? Armrests? And I often turn to the side, but that's only so you can see my form. You don't have to turn to the side. And now just some light, gentle twist, nice and easy, warming up your torso, your spine. Suck that belly button. Suck that belly button in. <laughs> Push it to your back, to your back. So for those of you that can get down and do push-ups on the ground, do that. Do a couple, do about six and come and join us. If not, just stand, press out, just to warm up shoulders, elbows, and chest. So they'll show you that version. If you're on your knees, your hands are under your shoulders and your elbows are coming in at about a 45 degree angle, your back is tight, belly button sucked in. Nice and slow. Should our palms be down? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. But elbows in here instead of up here, I want them more here. Oh, okay. Like 45 degrees, yeah. Like this. So maybe yeah. hold up water balls like this. Yeah. Okay, come back up. A few more squats. Still just warming up. And the reason why I use it, I have people use a chair or a box is because um, all you Zoomers know this, but if you can't get to your thigh to parallel to the ground when you squat, you want to use a box so you get to parallel because if you're just doing quarter squats like this, it's more quad and less hamstring and glute activation and you put more pressure on your knees that way and that can lead to injury. So we want to make sure we get low enough to activate the glutes and the hamstrings. So you want to push your knees out 
Make sure they're not caving in. And feet are about hip width apart. Excellent. Toes slightly turned out. Okay, take a little break. Make sure you have water. You can go grab it. This time I'm gonna go over some of the moves. So take some, <laughs> take a water break. We're gonna do a circuit again today. Um, it's more upper body. So just looking for my timer. I'm gonna show you the moves real quick and then we will start. So you don't have to do them right now. We're gonna do a press, a squat, press, squat. So you can do this without weight and you can do it to your chair like they will be doing. Um, and you can also just sit in your chair and press if you're non-weight bearing. Uh, next move is gonna be push-ups. So we're gonna do a regular grip and a close grip. So tuck those elbows in for the close grip. If you're standing and doing a press, you're just gonna press here and then you're just gonna press here. You're gonna alternate. I'll, say, I'll go over it again. And then we're gonna do a bent over row, front raise, side raise combo with your dumbbells. Oh, and then we're gonna do a row and a curl combo. Oh, and then we're gonna do a shoulder press. <laughs> so that's the first circuit we're gonna do that a few times. So let me just check the chat box real quick. Okay, cool. All right. So grab your dumbbells if you're using them. You can use an exercise band for this too if you have a long one to put under your feet. And we're gonna start with our press, squat, press. In five, four, three, two, one. So you're shoulder pressing, squatting, shoulder pressing, squatting. So like I said before, go at whatever tempo you need to go at. You don't have to match me. If you want to make it harder, you can do a squat, uh, press at the bottom of the squat, but it's real comp. It's, it's not that easy. <laughs> kind of throws off your balance. Overhead squats are hard. Good. Remember to push the knees out so they don't cave in at the bottom and at the top. Do the whole move. 10 seconds left and we're gonna go to our push-up. So we're gonna do a regular push-up and a close grip push-up. Okay, so if you're doing your push-up, you're gonna do regular, come in, close grip. Just keep alternating. If you're standing, same thing. Regular grip, close grip. If you're laying down, you can also do a chest press on the ground if you don't want to do push-ups. Regular grip, close grip. So go whenever you're ready. But it's a press to the front, it's a chest press, not a shoulder press. Back is tight if you're doing push-ups, tuck the belly button in. Take a break whenever you need. 10 seconds left and we're gonna go to our bent over row, front raise, side raise combo. Three seconds left. Okay, come on up when you're ready. If you're on the ground, bent over row. Back is slightly bent over, flat, 45 degree angle. Just rowing, pulling your elbows close to your body, close to the torso, standing up, doing a front raise, palms are down, side raise, Palms are down. Bending over, row, stand up, front raise, side raise. Suck the belly button in on that row. On the front raise and the side raise for sure too, but especially the row. I know, it's a triple move here, combo. <laughs> Work on your coordination. Oh, I forgot my side raise. Try talking and doing all this yeah. at the same time. <laughs> so I'm using water jugs. They're using water bottles, soup cans, bean cans. Four seconds left, and we're going to go to our row curl combo. OK, row again, same thing, elbows tight to the body. Stand up, bicep curl. Bend over, row, stand up, bicep curl. Bend over, row. 
whatever tempo you need to go at. Think of elbowing someone behind you with that row. If you're not using weight, just squeeze your muscles. You'll still feel it. Okay. Halfway there. 26 seconds left. You can also do this in a chair. You don't even have to be standing. <laughs> After this, we're going to go to our shoulder press, which is just standing overhead dumbbell press. 10 seconds left. Lots of upper body today. Five seconds. Okay, dumbbells up. <laughs> You'll be tired for your golf game today. Just pressing overhead. So for this, definitely suck the belly button in, ribs are down. We don't want to have an arched back. We don't want to have a rounded back. And you also don't need to have your shoulders, I mean your elbows way out here. You want to neutral, palms are facing you, hands are a little bit in front of you. You can do them out here, but it's more pressure on your shoulders, more chance of injury over time. We like to do neutral bit. Keep going, 30 seconds left. Take a break whenever you need, stop and get water whenever you need. And then you join back in when you're ready. So you could do this seated too, if you need to be seated. Ten seconds left. And then we're going back to our squat press for round two. Four seconds left. These fluffy things are flying in my face. Okay, so we're still pressing, but now we're squatting. Pressing, squatting. So if you're not getting down to here, you're using your chair, right? I'm feeling it in my shoulders already, but these dumbbells are awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heavy ones. Yeah, this is great. We were using a chair. We're just sitting here. All the different options. 24 seconds left. See, squatting to a chair is so important because how often do we do that? How many times did we do that yesterday? Got up, off the lawn chair, sat down again, got up again, sit on the toilet, same thing. <laughs> Three seconds left. Okay, now we're going to do our push-up or your standing chest press. So push-up, regular, close grip. Regular grip, close grip. Gonna feel those shoulders. Or if you wanna do a chest press on your back, you can do that too. Just do regular and then tuck the elbows in. Ooh, these are wobbly. <laughs> Surprised I still have skin on my knuckles from using these all the time. Seventeen seconds left. And then we're gonna go to our bent over row, front raise, side raise combo. So if you're doing your standing press, really think about squeezing your chest muscles. Okay, come on up. Bent over row, stand up, front raise, side raise. Bent over row, stand up, front raise. Side raise. So your front raise, palms are facing down. Side raise, palms are facing down. So you're rowing, pulling your elbows behind you, standing up, lifting arms in front of you, and to this. But um, and then to go up, put down, and then to and the then side. Up again. Yeah. Okay. Row up to the front, down, out to the side, down. Row. Stand up first and then up to the front. <laughs> I know. This one takes coordination. Ten seconds left and we're going to go to our row curl. Bicep curl. Oh, yeah. So now we're rowing again, standing up, but doing a bicep curl. Rowing, stand up, bicep curl. Rowing, stand up, bicep curl. 
<laughs> when you do the stand up, this is like a little mini deadlift. You're doing a little hip hinge here, using those glutes to stand up. So your neck is, <laughs> don't drop it on <laughs> Neck is nice and neutral. Back is neutral. You're looking at a spot on the ground about three feet ahead of you, two feet ahead of you. So your neck is up like this, nice and neutral. 15 seconds left and we're gonna go to our shoulder press. <laughs> you don't get it all right but you get some. Yeah, exactly. It does We do it enough times that you get enough reps in. Two seconds left. Dumbbells up. Oops, wait, I'm in front of, here we go. Pressing overhead, belly button sucked in, ribs down. When I say ribs down, I mean just don't be flaring them and arching your back. Sucking in your belly button kind of automatically brings your ribs down. All right, you make a modification however you need. Mandy Heather has a shoulder um, problem, so she modifies it to the best of her ability, which is great and which everyone should do. 20 seconds left, and then we're going to go back to the top for round three. Five seconds left. Okay, so now we're pressing for round three. Squatting, pressing. Lawn chair, press. Lawn chair, press. Toilet, press. <laughs> Toilet, <laughs> press. All the things you have to do to squat. That's good. Put your knees out on the way up and on the way down. Feet are about hip width apart. Toes slightly turned out. You can make adjustments to your stance. However, you need to because everyone's hips are different because they are a ball and socket joint. They're not a hinge joint. So everyone kind of is angled differently when it comes to their hip bones. 10 seconds left and we're going to go to our push up. Hey, if you're doing your push up, come down for your push up. Regular grip, close grip. Regular grip. Post grip. Or if you're standing, doing your chest press, regular grip, elbows in, post grip. Or if you are doing your chest press, regular grip, post grip. Twenty seconds left, and then we're gonna go to our bent over row, front raise, side raise combo. When you're doing push-ups, you want to think of having a tight back. Seems counterintuitive, but it's important to tighten your back like this. You're staying in tight here. Okay, stand up. Grab your dumbbells. We're rowing. Stand up. Front raise. Side raise. Down, side raise, bone down. You can do this in your chair without a weight also. <laughs> <laughs> There's about five people behind the camera. My crew back there. <laughs> Peanut gallery. <laughs> Waiting patiently so we can leave and go to our next gravel pit camping area. <laughs> 10 seconds left and then we're gonna go to our row curl. Suck the belly button in. Two seconds. Okay, row, stand up, bicep curl. Row, stand up, bicep curl. If 
Elbows are coming side to your body, sliding along your ribcage for the row. Flat back, neutral back, neutral neck. Looking at a spot two or three feet on the ground ahead of you. 30 seconds left. These workouts are all archived on our YouTube channel as well. So if you miss any of them, just go to the American Indian Community House's um, YouTube channel. There's a playlist called Fit Native TV Workouts and Recipes. Lots of stuff. 13 seconds left. Yeah, you'll all be on YouTube. <laughs> the grannies of YouTube. No, this is great because I do have, we have an older population that want to work out too. Okay, shoulder press, dumbbells up. Belly button in, pressing overhead. Neutral grip, which means your palms are facing each other. So that means they're going to be slightly in front of you. Looks good. Looks good. Flex the belly button in. Keep going. This is leaking. I think there might be a hole in it. Maybe from the gravel. Yeah. <laughs> like it's getting lighter and lighter and it's the dribbling down my hand. <laughs> You're having a shower. 23 seconds left. And then you'll take a little water break. Keep going. 14 seconds left. And then we're going to do our burnout to end the workout after this. So I chose more of upper body today because we're in a gravel pit. <laughs> but it also shows what you can do if you just have to stand, really. Okay, water break. So the burnout, we do one more circuit. We do five moves a minute each, and then that's it. We only do one round of them. So I'll just quickly go over those. Um, if you can get on the ground, we're going to do a crunch press. Mm. But you don't have to be on the ground. If you can't be on the ground, just keep doing your press this way, but really squeeze your abs. Really think about squeezing those abs as you stand here and do your chest press, okay? Um, that's move number one. Number two, our squat jumps, the hard version, plyometrics leaving the ground. Easier version, take the plyo out, just do an air squat, body weight squat. Easier version, squat to your box as usual. You can even, you don't have to do this. Squat to your box and jump if you want and you still need your box. It's up to you. Um, then we're gonna do a combo. Bicycles, mountain climbers. Some of you have done this already. We're gonna do four bicycles, flip over, four mountain climbers. If you're not on the ground, you're just marching, arms overhead, or just like this. But the point of this is engaging the abs again. And then new jacks, which are our friends, the jumping jacks on steroids. So jumping in and out here. Hard version is this. Easier version, take the jump out. You can stay low if you can, or just step side to side, or just regular jumping jacks. Um, last move is our burpee up chain, which is counting the push-ups and the squat jumps up from one to five or however fast you or however far you can get so you're jumping out coming down one one next one you're doing two push-ups two squat jumps up to five if you can do in the minute so easier versions if you're on the ground step out lower down stand up you don't have to jump even easier step out step in stand up or you can just stay in your plank. Or you can do this again, or you can do this again. The point is, is just to kind of keep some aerobic movement going through these five minutes. So I'll give you lots of options as we go throughout. So get ready for your first. Hold on, sorry. It's gonna be the crunch. <laughs> Press hold. So if you're doing that, you're gonna be on the ground with your dumbbells. If not, you're gonna do the crunch press hold standing. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, this is a, my timer isn't moving. I have to restart my timer. Keep going. <laughs> it's the crunch and the hold. So you're just crunching and squeezing 
like your abs. Yeah, Sorry, I have to restart this app. Oh, yeah. So if you're doing the crunch, you're just holding it up for a couple seconds. You're not coming very far off the ground. Just a little bit, just a few inches. Just sucking your belly in. Just yeah. think as if you were yeah, that's doing her. Yeah. Just like a couple inches up. Just doing like a crunch and a press. Okay. So, Aang, just pausing for about three seconds if you're doing the crunch. If you're standing, squeeze those abs in. Really squeeze those abs. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze the chest. Keep your back tight, though. Keep your back tight. And breathe. And breathe. <laughs> okay. That was totally <laughs> Okay. Squat jumps. If you're doing the jump, do the jump. If not, just squat body weight. If not, use your chair. My chair. <laughs> Make sure that chair is behind you. <laughs> You're using that chair. Oh, there's some text behind us. You can use your dumbbells for this if you want to hold extra weight. You don't have to, though. 27 seconds left. Same idea for rest-based training through this last burnout too. Take a rest whenever you need. 15 seconds left. And then we're gonna go to our bicycles mountain climber combo. Couple seconds. Okay, if you're standing, you can just do this move. Suck your belly button in. If you're on the ground, we're gonna do Four bicycles. One, two, three, four. Flip over. Four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. And then you can so we could bring our elbow to our knee. Yeah, you can do right? that too. You can do elbow to knee like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. You can stay on the ground and just do bicycles like Wendy's doing. Or you can do the hard version. Like Thomas. <laughs> Just make sure you flip opposite ways. Keep it even on your core. Yeah. Feel that. We're earning our glass of wine for you. Yeah. Bet. <laughs> flip it on the gravel. Ten seconds left. And we're going to go to our new jacks, which are jumping jacks on steroids. Two seconds. Okay. Hard version, new jacks. Low, jumping in and out. Easier version, stay low, take the jump out. Stay, stay low though. Even easier, stand up, just step to the side. You can also do this in your chair too. Just stepping side to side. Or you can do regular jumpy jacks up tall if your joints are okay with it. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Twenty-two seconds left. Fifteen. And then after this, we're gonna do our burpee up chain. Six seconds. Okay, if you're not doing your burpee, standing, just do your march. You can do this one again too. Burpee, you're jumping down, push up, jump it in, jump it up. Easier version, step out. And you're up chaining the push ups and the squats. So, first one is one each, second one is two each. It's three, four, five. <laughs> Which I haven't done yet. So, one, two. One, two. This is the last circuit. That's the belly button. You can use an incline like my mom is doing. Stepping out. 16 seconds left. Anytime you raise your torso at an incline like that, makes it a little easier. I know that side. Two seconds. Done. Okay. Grab some water. Do a quick cool down. Good 
job. So if you feel like your heart rate still needs to come down a little bit, just keep your feet moving, wander a little bit, or just step side to side. You don't want to ever stop if your heart rate is up so high because you don't want your blood to cool and then get dizzy and faint. So start to slow it down though. You can just sway to to do a shoulder stretch take one arm across the body shoulders are down belly button in pushing with your other hand pushing pulling the arm towards your body release that shoulder a little bit into the back bring them out shoulders down we don't want them up here we don't want them up here shoulders always down switch arms <laughs> we have another camera crew right behind this laptop with their phones Oh, did you call someone? Nadine Who called him? Is it Nadine? Oh, bring her in. Shout, bring her on camera. Hi. Hi <laughs> now my cousin's on the phone. <laughs> Arms out to the side. There she is. Push your hands away from you, the heels of your hands. Bring your tips of your fingers towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Shoulders are down. And you're feeling the stretch in the bicep. Push your hands away from you. If you can. Move your arms a little bit behind you, but you don't have to. Suck the belly button in. Where's Sia? Where's Sia? <laughs> we oh, love you. Oh, oh. Okay, arms up. One arm behind the head, hand touching the back. Using the opposite arm to pull that arm towards you. Belly button in, ribs are down. Feeling the stretch in the triceps, back to the arm. Switch arms. Join us yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to stretch our forearms, which is something people forget about doing. Be real gentle because it's your wrist. Hands are facing up, palms are facing up. Just slightly bring those fingers down towards you, stretching the top of the forearm, the side. Yeah, especially because so many of us are on the computer keyboard these days. We forget about that. And you're going to be golfing later too. That's a lot of gripping, right? Switch, flip it over, palm facing down. Be real gentle this way because most people's wrists are more flexible this way. Easier chance of injuring. It's nice and gentle. Switch arms. Flip over. Okay, lace your arms behind you if you can. If you have uh, shoulder issues, you can skip this one. Lace your hands behind you this way. Shoulders are down, belly button in, ribs are down. Pulling your hands up a little bit just to feel the stretch in the chest and the front of the shoulders. You can bend your elbows if you need to. Belly button in, ribs are down, neck is neutral, back is neutral. I also, if you have the flexibility, I like to flip my hands inside out, get a little bit more forearm stretch. Not a requirement though. Okay, we're going to do some standing leg stretches. So you can hang on to your chairs if you need the balance. Quad stretch, taking one foot behind you. Knees are together. I definitely need Wrist that. down, belly button down. Pulling the heel towards your butt. Feeling the stretch in the front of the leg. The quad. Together. Can you hang on for, if, if you have to hang on to your shin, that's fine. If you can't grab your toe, but if you grab your toe, it might be a little easier to keep you closer. Yeah, no, sometimes you can be a little bit closer together. Great, switch legs. Wait, who am I blocking? Trying not to block. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> we don't want to be out here. You can also think of doing a little pelvic tilt under. That kind of helps fill the stretch more too. Yeah. Gets a little higher. So hip flexor stretch, I normally do this on the ground, but you can just do it leaning onto something too. So if you, if I had something here, you could hold onto it like this. So basically you're lunging, or you can have your knee up if you're holding onto something. And you're just lunging forward, feeling the stretch in the front of the hip. So if you're holding onto something, you can have your knee, you know, if you don't have a pad under your knee, just kind of doing a, 
stationary lunge, but a low one, so you're feeling it. You could be feeling it, yeah, in your straight leg at the front there. Switch legs. <laughs> I normally do have something here, so it, it helps me relax more into the stretch, but I have helpers today, so. <laughs> Ah, oh no, I'm gonna have to spray. Or just hurry. <laughs> okay, come on up. Hamstring stretch. Split stance. One foot in front of the other. One leg is straight, soft bend in the knee. The other leg is bent. Put your torso weight on the bent knee. Leaning down into it, bringing your chest down to the ground. Neutral back, neutral neck, looking at a spot. Three, two, three feet ahead of you. Thinking of bringing your chest to the ground and pushing your butt to the wall behind you or the ante behind you. <laughs> and that you should feel the stretch in the hamstring and the back of the leg. Okay, switch legs. You can also do this laying on the ground on your back. Um, if you have a yoga strap, you can tie it here, pull your leg, or just hold onto your leg this way. I prefer this way because it can relax more. Okay, uh, glute stretch. You can do the chair versions and I'll do the floor version. So if you're sitting in the chair, you're gonna sit in your chair, cross one leg over the other, one ankle over the thigh, pushing that, that knee yeah. towards the ground and leaning into it as much as you can. Nice flat back, nice and neutral. As long as you feel, you're basically like this, right? Feeling the stretch in the hip, the side. So think about pushing this knee away from you. Yeah, you're doing the floor version. Cross, ankle over side, but pull this side towards you. Think of pushing this knee away, feel it in the hip, the glute side. Doesn't take much movement to feel it, so don't worry if you don't if you're not deep. Like you don't feel like you're bending over much. I don't have very flexible hips, so <laughs> I usually don't move much. Switch legs. <laughs> um, calf stretch, if you have something to put your toe up against, a wall, a chair, do that. I have nothing, so I'm going to pretend. But, yeah, you can do this version here. Wait, that version? <laughs> it's opposite, I keep forgetting. Um, so you want to be a little bit, so yeah, legs straight in the back. And you want to think of lunging forward on that leg. Yeah, feeling the stretch in the calf or putting your toe up against something. Yeah, like that and bringing your body towards the wall or the chair, whatever you're coming towards. And then, or if you can hang your foot off something like a stair and let your heel drop, that's a good one too. That's actually the one I prefer to do. That's it. We're done. Thank you for joining me.